Hello and welcome back to Would You Rather. I'm David Ian Hark and today we're going to tackle some of the tough questions that are thrown our direction. What life-altering decisions will we have to make today? Like this one. Would we rather be the head chef on a luxury cruise liner or be the head chef in the White House? Um, wow. They both have their uh, perks. I mean, you know, if you're on a luxury cruise liner, first of all, you're feeding like 4,000 people. Um, and to be the head chef in charge of, of preparing that menu or, you know, lining out the menu, working with all of your sous chefs and all the other uh, kitchen help and all that kind of stuff. I mean, that would be, that'd be pretty freaking cool. But to be the head chef in the White House, which I have no idea how big the staff is. For all I know, it's as big as a luxury cruise liner. Um, but I, I just, if you were the head, if I was the head chef at the White House, um, you'd be preparing menus for you know, the, the, the president and the first lady you know, every day, every night. You, you'd, you'd be the one in charge of um, menus for special occasions and for all these heads of state and I don't know I, my guess is that would just be ha they would have to be a pretty freaking cool job um so I, I think that's what I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with the head chef in the White House all right there you go the majority of folks agree working in the White House super awesome and I don't even care who the president is the fact that you would that that you would be the head chef in that building for whoever is running the United States of America. I, I think that'd be pretty cool. So, all right. So, would you rather be able to fly or breathe underwater? Well, this is a little different take of some of the other uh, superpower questions we've had. So, um, I mean, being able to breathe underwater would be cool, but frankly, I would much rather be able to fly. I, I, you, I wouldn't have to drive, so I wouldn't have to worry about my car. Although, in cases where, like, to, as, it, as it so happens, as I'm recording this, the winds are, like, insanely blowing all over the place. Now, definitely not as much as they are in the northeast section of the United States. And uh, definitely my thoughts and prayers and, and my heart goes out to those folks who are braving such crazy, crazy weather conditions. Um, but it is blowing pretty good here for the kind of wind um, that we usually have, at least in my experience. Um, so flying in these conditions is where I'm going with this would be pretty difficult. But by the same token, I don't have a big need to be able to breathe underwater. Um, I mean, yeah, we've got some lakes and stuff around, but, you know, even if I were going on vacation to the ocean or whatever and going underwater just water's not that's not a big thing flying i could go where i needed to go now it also it doesn't say how how fast you would fly so i have no idea you know just because you can fly doesn't mean you can suddenly go 600 miles an hour i don't know what the limitations are but still you know if i could fly to work if i could fly of course, I'm assuming that I would have to, I mean, I would be by myself, so that'd be kind of a bummer if, if I flew faster than the average person drove, then, you know, I would be hanging out wherever I was going and I'd have to wait for everybody else to catch up. But I don't know. I, I think I'd rather be able to fly. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. All right. So there it is. <laughs> Am I thinking too hard? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Okay. Would you rather prevent World War II or win a life-changing amount of money in a lottery? Um, wow. So the question is, if I were in a position where I could have prevented World War II, that begs the question then, um, you know, the problem with this, the, the problem with the way this is, is, you know, World War II, theoretically, could have been prevented just by, you know, letting things play out, sort of. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe maybe the fact that they played out at all is really what got the the whole world to, you know, stand up and, and uh, take out Hitler and the other folks that were uh, 
um, basically trying to take over um, the world. Um, so the question then is, you know, how how would you prevent World War II? So if you could have, if we could have prevented it, would that just have simply meant that uh, a different war would have eventually come along anyway, or would ha would stopping World War II from happening? And that is all of the things that fell into place over that time period. Um, if you could stop that whole mechanism from starting in the first place, what would the consequences be? What would the and, and that's that's really the key. And of course, there's no way to answer that. All you can do is is you know postulate and and you know put out your hypothesis and. And, and think about what would have happened if World War II never happened. If those things didn't take place, where, were, where would the world be now? Um, and that's, that's huge. That's a, that's a big undertaking. Um, winning a life-changing amount of money is, is great, is awesome. And, and yeah, that'd be fantastic. Um, and if, if I were to win a life-changing amount of money... Um, the term life would actually be uh, applied a little differently than a lot of people think. Uh, if I were to win a life changing amount of money, I would be changing other people's lives. And frankly, if I ever won the lottery, that's what I would be doing. Yes, of course I would pay off my own bills and I take care of some of the stuff that, that I would want, um, selfishly for lack of a better word. Um, but there are so many other things that I would do with the money that would help change other people's lives. Um, and as much as I would love to be able to say, Hey, I can prevent world war two from happening. Um, uh, this is a tough one. Oh, this is tough. This is, this is really tough. Uh, my, my gut tells me I should go with preventing World War II, but my limited brain, you know, I, I just, it is, it is what it is. My, my limited ability to see the consequences of various actions. I can't think big enough beyond if, if I prevented World War II, I can't comprehend what the world would look like today. All I have is today's frame of reference. So from today's point of view, I would rather win a life changing amount of money in a lottery and change a lot of people's lives. That's, uh, and you know, good, bad, ugly. And again, it has nothing to do with me winning the money and keeping it all for myself. It would be the lives that I could impact by winning a life changing amount of money. So it so happens the majority of people agree. I'd be very curious if you fall on the lottery side, what, what's your take? What, and, and by all means, if you're like, yeah, I want the money. I'm keeping the money. It's going to town. Then that's the way you feel. I'm that's great. As far as I'm concerned, anytime you share your thoughts and your feelings, uh, that's how it is. That's how you feel about it. Um, for me, I'd want the life changing amount of money, but that's so that I could change other people's lives. So. All right, would you rather be Harry Potter or Luke Skywalker? Pretty sure we had this one before, and there's no doubt I would rather be Luke Skywalker because I, I've i never read Harry Potter. I've never seen Harry Potter. I have a general idea who he is, of course, because of pop culture. But yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to be Luke. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm going to be. All right, so would you rather have to eat tree bark for one meal a day or have to pour pour cold milk over everything you eat. Um, first of all, it doesn't say how much tree bark I'd have to eat. Now it does say for one meal. So, I mean, you know, if that was my lunch every day, um, first of all, I'd get sick of it. I'm the kind of person that I hate eating. I I just I hate eating the same thing day 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 day. I don't I don't know how people do that. I, I just don't. I, that, but. They do, and I know a lot of people enjoy that, and I know that a lot of people are able to do that. I'm just not one of those people. Um, by the same token, 
there's no way I could eat cold milk over everything I ate. You go to Mickey D's and you grab a burger and now I got to pour cold milk over it. No, that is disgusting. So I'm going to go with tree bark because I'm not doing cold milk. I, I know the majority of people disagree with me and more power to you, but I'm not pouring cold milk over everything I eat. Not happening. No, no thanks. <laughs> All right, would you rather fight Cybermen or fight Daleks? Um, I don't know what Cybermen is. Um, what is Daleks from? Is that from, is that a Doctor Who thing or is that a, uh, no, I was thinking, I'm thinking, what am I thinking? Uh, I'll tell you what I'm thinking is, <laughs> I'm thinking Slee Stacks from uh, Land of the Lost. So that shows you how far back. I go with that. I, I don't know what either of these things are. Uh, so I guess I would rather fight Daleks. I, I don't know. I am clueless. I have no idea what either of these things are. So more people would rather fight Cybermen. I, more power to you. I have no idea. I'm sure I'd get my butt kicked either way. So there you go. <laughs> All right. If Which wizard would you rather be? Would you rather be Gandalf or Dumbledore? Um, I'm not familiar with either. I mean, Dumbledore is Harry Potter, yes. And Gandalf is uh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I haven't read that either. I know, I'm a weird kid. I didn't... Uh, my nerdy stuff was not in that direction. It was in other directions, so... so. Uh, in terms of which wizard, though, um, I guess, I don't know, I guess I'd be Gandalf, just because, well, he, he did have hair, right? Didn't he have hair? Did, you know, I know he had the big white beard, but he also had, like, white hair everywhere? Yeah, maybe? I don't know. Gandalf. Sure, why not? What have we got to lose? Oh, okay. Oh. Would you rather see how you die or see who you will marry? Well, I'm already married and I know what she looks like. So um, I guess I'd rather see how I die because I'm already here. I've already done this. So here's the question, though. Would you really, would you really want to see how you die? You know, most people are like, yeah, I'd rather see how I die. But well, I say that, I, I don't know if most people are like that, but I would, I would venture that a lot of people are like, you know, yeah, just, yeah, show me how I would die, which is great if you're going to die in your sleep or something, but let's pretend that you're going to die in some nasty, horrific accident. Okay. So that actually brings up the next thing. Let's say that you get to see how you're going to die and you're going to die because you went scuba diving. So you decide right then and there, you will never go scuba diving. So how can you die scuba diving if you never go scuba diving? I'm just saying. I, I don't know how that works. Or does it become like a final destination kind of thing where somehow in some weird twist of fate, you still end up scuba diving like against your will or something? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. So uh, between the two, I mean, uh, uh, like I said, I'm already married, so I already know who I'm going to, you know, I, I know who I'm, who I married. So to see who I will marry doesn't make any sense. So for the sake of argument, we'll see how I die. So there you go. Whatever. All right. Would you rather show your friends and family your entire internet history or live near an active volcano? <laughs> I would imagine that there are some folks out there, they would pick the volcano every single time because they don't want their friends and family to see their entire internet history. Um, you know, and here's the thing, you, uh, of course, this is saying your entire internet history. I've been around a long time. Uh, you know, I was doing things on the internet before the World Wide Web was a thing, you know, back when it was days of Veronica and Gopher and, you know, Fidonet and, and I mean, you know, CompuServe and it, it goes back a long way. Um, so I 
I'll be honest, I don't even remember most of the stuff that I even looked up, especially in those early days. You know, what I was doing, who I was chatting with, which, you know, even chatting and stuff back then wasn't anywhere near what it is. Um, I don't know. That would be, that would be an interesting, uh, that'd be an interesting happening. Um, but in a weird sort of way, it would be kind of fun to, you know, I don't care if my friends and family, I would be interested to know my entire internet history and see, that's the kind of nerd I am. I, I'm like, yeah, you know, the flip side of that is living near an active volcano. Um, no, cause there's a good chance that the lava is going to come down. And when you're playing the floor is lava and it's really lava, that's not for me. I'm not into that. I'll, I'll take the family history or the uh, internet history. You know, most people are like, no, no, I'm going to live near a volcano. <laughs> so <there you> go. <laughs> oh, uh, I think we've had this before. Uh, have the first name refrigerator or have the first name dishwasher. Um, and uh, although it was a nickname, you know, there was a, uh, a Chicago Bear football player uh, and uh, his nickname was Refrigerator. Um, what was his name? William Perry? I can't remember if his first name was William, but I remember it was Refrigerator Perry. Uh, or had the first name Dishwasher. Um, probably Refrigerator, because then my nickname would be Fridge. Yo, Fridge, what's up, man? I don't know. I'm going to go with Refrigerator. Sure, why not? Wow, that's a major majority of folks. I actually didn't quite expect that. Huh. Okay. So, would you rather have your house burned down by a fire-breathing dragon or have your house blown down by the big bad wolf? Well, uh... Either way, we're losing our house, so this is not this is not a happy ending. Um, I, I'm going to go with now. I have to say, if a dragon suddenly showed up and it was a fire breathing dragon and he blew fire and burned my house down, if I had my phone with me, I would be recording and taking pictures because, dude, how awesome would that be? It's a dragon! Oh, that would be so cool. Um, but my thinking is that if I had the house blown down by the big bad wolf, then at least in my brain, I could go and still collect my stuff, right? The big bad wolf blows my house down. All my stuff is still there. Yeah, it may be scattered around, but I can still collect it. If my house gets burned down by a fire-breathing dragon, that's pretty much the end of the house and all the stuff in it. So... I'd kind of have a problem with it. So I'm going to go with have the house blown down by the big bad wolf. Although having it burned to the ground by a fire breathing dragon would be awesome. But I'm going with the wolf. I can see why it's a close split. I really could have gone either way, except for the fact that I could still get my stuff if it was blown down, at least in my head. So I don't know. Okay. So, would you rather stare at the sun for two minutes or drink a liter of scalding water? Um, well, as a kid, we used to play stare at the sun. You'd stare at the sun and you'd count as high as you could before your eyes started burning out of your sockets and then you'd look away. I didn't say well, I was a bright child. I'm just saying that's what we did when we were kids. Uh, now, it wasn't two minutes. There's no freaking way two minutes. Um, but drinking, I, I mean... It's already bad enough when you drink something that's really, really hot. You know, if you're drinking hot cocoa or coffee or hot tea and you take a swig and it just, oh, completely rips the inside of your mouth to shreds. And, and then I can't imagine drinking a whole liter of that and having it just, I mean, it, it would be tearing up your throat and your stomach and your intestines. And But then again, staring at the sun for two minutes, you'd probably go blind. Um... Neither one of these is good. Uh, I guess I'm going to go stare at the sun for two minutes. Because even if I was blind, at least I could still eat and drink. Without, you know, medical accessories. So I'm going to go stare at the sun. Oh, well, majority of folks staring at the sun. All right, there we go. Okay, we're going to do one more. Here we go. Would you rather have a wardrobe completely of flannel and pad, plaid? Or have a wardrobe completely of denim. And this is easy for me. Because I am very hot natured. It, 
if I could have the temperature set at about 68 to 70, 24 seven, I would be a very happy person. It starts getting a little warm and I start getting really hot, getting roasted. Um, I just, and flannel. Now it says plaid. So plaid does not necessarily have to be hot. It would just be that pattern. Um, but flannel, even in the wintertime, flannel just makes me burn up. Oh, it is so hot. Oh my gosh. Denim, however, I'm all about, you know, I, I actually, I don't know if I still have them or not. I used to have some uh, denim shirts that I would wear, long sleeve shirts, of course, you know, jeans, that kind of stuff. I'm good with wearing denim. Uh, I, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. So, uh, now it, 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 denim can also get pretty toasty. Now that I'm thinking about it, huh? Wow. I guess either one of these, I'm probably going to end up burning up pretty badly. Uh, but I'm going to go with denim. Yeah. Okay. That's almost a 50, 50 split. I'm good with that. I, I I'm okay. So there you go. Uh, I don't know if I'm okay, but I'm okay with wearing denim, whatever. Anyway, what are your thoughts? What do you think about the different questions that we've had? What are some of your responses? Let me know down in the comment section below. And remember I'm collecting would you rather's from you guys that uh, I'll throw up and ask your questions to myself. Does that make sense? You're going to ask me, would I rather questions? And I'm going to make a video from your questions. That's what I'm trying to say. Leave those down in the comment section as well. And I got any other questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories, put those down in the comments alongside of your, would you rathers? And uh, just, uh, I don't know, let me know, let me know your thoughts. Are you enjoying the, would you rather series? Uh, I, I, I like it. I, I love, the conversation, I mean, I know it's kind of one-sided when I'm putting it out there, but I love going back and reading the comments that you guys have about some of the different uh, responses. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see you next time on Would You Rather. Thanks for watching.